Hi, I'm Erica Iris, and I make artwork out of cassette tapes. One of the things I love about this type of artwork is taking something old and forgotten, something dusty in a junk drawer, and just reimagining it and giving it a new life and being able to somehow appreciate those memories. This is the, one of the first pieces I made of Jimi Hendrix, and this is the piece that really put me on the map. It got me published and in magazines, and that led to bigger jobs like working for the Grammys, and that snowballed into a lot of other fun projects working with loads of people all over the world. When I start making a piece, I begin by hand drawing a stencil, hand drawing just an, a general outline of what I want the shapes to be. And then I'll glue down layers of cassette tape flat and cut everything out and so all of the details are perfect. And then I go over that with layers of 3D details uh, to bring it to life and to bring the textures, which I think makes it very interesting. This is my work area where I do all kinds of different materials. I've got loads of cassette tapes. So I actually spend a lot of money on tapes, even though I have thousands in my basement of donated tapes that I use for different projects. The cassette tapes range in colors. You know, you have light brown, dark brown, black, red sometimes. I usually like to use more black tapes, uh, especially if it suits my character. So we've got uh, Trent Reznor here with an authentic Nine Inch Nails cassette tape. I'm inspired by all types of music, but my favorite is Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. And right now I'm making a piece just for myself out of a cassette tape that I used to have in my car, and that's pretty cool to me. Uh, right now I'm just adding 3D textures and trying to unite the cassette case with the image and make sure there's a nice transition so you realize it's all made of tape. And I try to give it as much personality as possible. This Miles Davis is an example of a larger artwork that I do. Something like this could take a week or two. Uh, I really love getting all the proportions and the design just right. And I always thought it was so cool that you know, you could make something out of random things and see a face. And so that's what inspired me to start making these. Something fun and new that I'm doing uh, is artwork out of vinyl records. And I've developed some techniques to score them with box cutters and the ruler, and you snap it. But I can get them very precise so they all fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, so this is an Amy Winehouse I'm working on. It's not quite finished. Uh, but I really love how the light catches it and just springs off her hair. And I've also been making these little kisses out of a single broken record that I kind of call Kiss Off. I think people enjoy these pieces and it resonates with them because uh, the cassettes were really special. It was something tactile about making a mixtape. And I think that's why people really resonate with what I do because you have a little bit of the past you know, brought into the future. I never in a million years thought that I would have the opportunity to work with such cool people all over the world, but I look forward to what's next. If you'd like a piece, you can check the link below or check me out at iri5.com. And please subscribe to the Wizard of Odd TV.